anything about organic modeling, but I wanted to try my hand at it. I decided to model a sloth. There's a free program by ZBrush called Sculptress, and let me tell you, it's so easy to use. I mean, I'm pretty artistically inclined, but I had never done any modeling before, so I was really impressed that I could model this up in like an hour. But I probably, I spent a little bit of time until I was happy with it. Look at his little face. Next, I wanted to make it so I could stick him on different stuff, and so I cut out a cylinder so we could hug things. I did a few different sizes so I could try and see if I could fit him on a pencil, and eventually I got it. Look at him hanging out there. But let's take this time to talk about something really important, Z-height. If you don't know, Z-height is basically the distance between two layers. Essentially, the lower the Z-height, the higher detail you'll be able to achieve. This ends up being really important when you're printing small things. Now, you might have watched the video where I printed D&D minifigures and noticed that the Z-height was really high. That's because I had no idea what I was doing. This channel isn't called Make It Really Well Because You Know Exactly What You're Doing for a reason. For comparison, here's a sloth printed at a 2mm layer height versus 1.4mm layer height. I printed a bunch of test ones and then I just had a bunch around so I stuck them to different things. If you've never tried organic modeling and you want to get into it, please do because it's super fun and it can be really intimidating but it's not that hard. 